What an exciting opportunity it is to be part of a ceremony to dedicate this fabulous, fabulous agriculture center. This new facility will revolutionize the agricultural program at SAU and have a tremendous impact on the lives of future generations of students. As you tour this building today, I think you will agree that Southern Arkansas University has indeed moved dramatically ahead in the pursuit of excellence in agricultural education. This new building, together with the acquisition of the 652-acre Governor Ben T. and Lucy Laney Farm, the addition of a master's degree in agriculture, the construction of the Mule Rider Stables, and the coming completion of the Story Arena, which we hope, by the way, should be done by the end of the year, plus other scheduled agricultural improvements already in the works is moving the university, I believe, to the next level in agricultural education. I'm very grateful for the support of SAU alum and new elected, newly elected state senator, Bruce Mallock. Two years ago, Senator Mallock was able to secure $1 million in state funding for this building and gave us here at the university and the board of trustees the confidence to proceed with the planning and now the completion of this facility. Today is a great day for agriculture, and it's a great day for Southern Arkansas University. Now, even though we cherish our great history and the legacy of Mr. Childs and others who were so important to agriculture and to this university uh, over the past years, today we celebrate the future. The legacy of SAU Ag Department will remain the same. It has and always will provide a family atmosphere with an open door policy, a place where you can walk in and go sit in your professor's office and talk about anything under the sun, anything. And you'll be treated like a human instead of just <clears throat> some student, a paycheck. You're part of their life. We're proud of this new building, but we're more proud of what's going to be taught in this new building. We're proud of our way of life. We're a very proud people, and that's why we still do what we do, and other people wonder why. And I'll leave you with this, and I think Thomas Jefferson put it best. Cultivators of the earth are the most valuable citizens. They're the most vigorous, the most independent, the most virtuous, and they are tied to their country and wedded to its liberty and interest by the most lasting bands. Thank you.